Hey there, and welcome to a brand new section in this course. In the previous section, we saw the creation of real-time dashboards. Although we can perform some interesting things with one-way communication, the real power of Socket.io begins to show when the client and server are both participants in a constant dialogue. In this section, we will work through various examples of two-way Socket.io communication. We will implement various tactics to make bi-directional communication work for our specific needs. We will start off the section by creating a simple chat room. Then we will focus on managing the socket lifestyle and message exchange between sockets. Finally, we'll end the section by building a multiplayer tic-tac-toe game. Our first aim would be to create a chat room application. A basic chat room application is one of the most widely used demos. This shows off Socket.io or even WebSockets in a more general sense. The reason for this is that it immediately gives the business case for Socket.io in a way that is easy to follow and digest. Building a basic chat room with Socket.io is neither terribly difficult nor complex. This is the sort of application that Socket.io is designed for. We will first write the server-side code, then we will create our index.html page and finally see our chat room come alive. For this video, we will use jQuery for simple DOM manipulation and Bootstrap for styling purposes. None of these libraries are required to create a chat app with Socket.io, but they all provide useful utilities that we can easily tap into. We'll first create a server.js file. This file will start your server and emit Socket.io events whenever a new message is posted to the chat application. In addition to the typical Socket.io server setup, we will need to add this code. I will save this file in the folder I have created for Section 3 in my local system in the folder called Chat Room. Now, let's create our index.html template. This will include a form at the top of the page to post new messages. It also contains a div container to hold our chat messages. Let's save this in the same chat room folder in our Section 3 folder as index.html. Then, we'll add the client-side JavaScript. This will submit messages to the server and render messages when they are emitted from the server. The server-side code will act as a hub for incoming messages. When new messages come, it will emit them to all connected sockets. Now that the files are created, let's navigate to our local host and watch the magic unravel. Let's write a simple message here. We will submit the messages from our form on the client side. We will also render new messages when they are emitted from the server. In this way, the client who emits the message will listen for the same message.sent event as all the other clients. Let's similarly write another message here. The messages in this simple example will not be persisted. This means that when the client first loads the page, there will not be any messages in the interface. They will only receive messages when new messages are posted after the page is loaded. To show all the messages that occurred before the page load, we would need to maintain them somehow and emit them when the socket connection event is fired on the server. For example, we could hold an array of posted messages in the memory and emit them when the page is loaded. The downside to the in-memory approach is that when the server is restarted, all the messages that we previously had in the memory would be lost. A better approach would be to keep the messages in a database and fetch the previously posted messages when the connection is created. That's it! Wasn't it simple to create a simple chat room?